All right, we budgets fam. It's time to count the 100 envelope challenge. I have no idea what, how much I was able to save, what that number is going to be. But if you made a guess, you could be a winner tonight. Let's check it out. Let's get it. All right, so let's get into this. Let's count this up. Mrs. V was the winner. She, uh, of how long it would take to finish this challenge. And amazing how, how quick I was able to get it done. Um, if I remember correctly, I believe it said May 29th. It couldn't have been May. No, May yeah, May 29th gives a month in there. So May 29th, June 29th, about a month and a half to finish this challenge. What fueled me, and if you're wondering just how it got done so uh, quickly, what really fueled me to get this done was um, I'm saving for my house and I'm in the process. I've got my mortgage um, mortgage lender set. I've got an uh, awesome realtor. And right now I'm just looking for a place. So all this is money that's going to then go towards that. So I'm looking forward to counting this up, seeing what I was able to uh, save to add back into my rebuild fund or rebuilding my vision fund. My vision fund is the vision of owning my own home. I'm ready to get it counted. So you see those eyes checking you out over there. Um, I pulled that post up because I'm actually going to use this time. I uh, hadn't decided how I wanted. Let's just put, let them fall out again. See if they'll come back out. Um, I wasn't sure how I wanted to do this video. If I wanted to um, like do it time lapse which i'm really not sure if i'd even be able to pull off or if i wanted to you know try to speed it up what i'm gonna do is just let this run you have the option of sticking around fast forwarding doing whatever you like i would gladly appreciate um at the least <laughs> a like and a comment if you haven't subscribed think about it consider subscribing um to my channel um, but if you're going to jump around definitely leave a comment like the video it'll help to get my content out to, to others to more um but i'm going to try to do um some work on the q a i just haven't been had the the time i guess to kind of just factor it in and i wanted to do a whole video um but i'm like that also i don't know i've just had different setbacks and distractions um while i'm chatting now i'm gonna start pulling this money out um we there was we leave 100 envelopes plus an extra 15. So that is what was saved today. Oh, I was getting to say, um, I was gonna try to fast forward or whatever, but I'm just gonna, we're gonna stick it out. We'll see how long it is. I have to be mindful because I can't upload a video that's too long. Um, so I may have to split it out midway, um, but I'll try to watch and make sure. As a matter of fact, I'm going to set my telephone right now for 20 minutes. We could be done before then. But just in case we're not, I don't want the video to run too long and then I'll, I'll have to um, minimize the video quality. Um, anyway, I'm going to zoom through here. Hello, for me. <laughs> and see what questions I have. Um, oh, this has actually been acting real temperamental today too. Let's see what we can do. Questions. Come on. Yeah, it's acting up. Bear with me. We might just skip this whole piece of this and go straight to the... <laughs> we'll just miss out. All right. Channel, community. And we're going down to comments. Working, working. We're going to do two and one. Two and one, two and one. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. It's still Friday. Um, <laughs> this thing still don't want to open up for me to do any Q&A. Questions I can think of. If you have not watched my any of my information uh, videos where I did give a little pieces of me, um, I'll just give some more of those. Um, see what happens with this whole situation. Um, I am 37 years old. I am the father. I have one biological son and a host of children by love who are mine as well. 
Um, even grandkids, yes. He budgets as a grandpa. I work in the pet care industry. I actually manage a dog training facility. Um, I enjoy it very much. Something a lot of people don't know about me working in that industry is I'm actually allergic to dogs. Um, so every day <laughs> I do have to take my allergy medicine. Um, I do that and it works. I take my allergy medicine every day. And I also, um, anytime like the dogs lick me or anything, um, I have to go straight in and just wash my hands. I use alcohol wipes um, just to make it through the day. Um, had I been thinking, I would have put this on paper, so it would have been a little bit easier. Um, but we you know, multitask, and if you're here, sit back, chill. Um, you know what? I got a pause. I just made a whole video, and I forgot I have something special. This is a special video. This is time for celebration. If you planning to chill, I'm probably gonna put this video out on Saturday. Enjoy your Saturday with the We Budgets fam. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. So. One of my longtime supporters, if you are familiar with the Spike My <laughs> Cup, um, Spike My Coffee, if you're thinking of Spike My Coffee, uh, one of my longtime amazing supporters sent me this cup. That's my symbol. Bam, bam. And my little coffee cup. Might be coffee. The creator at Elfrida, done with love designs. Elfrida done with love designs. Awesome. Look at this. It's got my whole symbol in there. He budgets for the We Budgets fam. Spike my coffee. <laughs> oh, hold the coffee. So sometimes I have to spike the coffee, hold the coffee. You never, it depends on the mood. But look at that. My supporters are the best. I get so much love. I appreciate it. That's why I'm here making this video. And today, because we can't just have a cup, we got to use it. And I did go and rinse it out. Um, we want purple bag today. If you know what the purple bag, you know the purple bag. I'm feeling uh, real royal today. So just a little, a little spike. So that's technically a spike to the coffee. My coffee is technically spiked today. Thanks to Elfrida done with love designs. And just a shot, yeah, I heard that. It was just about a finger, two fingers. They call it a finger, two fingers. To the We Budgets fam, to completing this challenge, to Friday, to being alive today, to just the blessings of the Lord and this bounty that's in front of me. Blessings to fulfill my vision of home ownership for my family. I'm grateful today, I'm thankful. I appreciate every one of the We Budgets fam. If it's your first time stopping by, join this family because we, we got a lot going on. Above all, We Budgets. You want to know what we do? We Budgets. That's what we do. The We Budgets fam. Continuing on. Put that right there. Oh, I want it on there. Let's put it here. Bam. All right, we're getting this money out of here. <laughs> so if you don't know, if you haven't gotten it yet, I'm very excited about counting this money up. I was going to let it wait, but then I wanted to drop that video. I didn't want anybody to feel the need to change their number. Um, I had a big save on that last one, and it'll probably throw the numbers off a little bit, um, but we'll see. I had some great um, notes, great, great just comments uh, from all the We Budgets fam in watching this challenge unfold. Um, let's see if I can find some questions on here. Read more. This one says, what accomplishments are you most proud of? Um, I guess I would have to say just where I'm at as far as accomplishments, accomplishments um, in my career. Um, I really enjoy my work. I enjoy um, managing the business that I manage. I enjoy... Um, just being able to um, be a positive um, role model, not just in the job, but I uh, uh, mentor a lot of people coming in and looking for work for the first time. Um, I do the hiring. So um, there's times where I see resumes that I know um, 
are not getting any anybody an interview and i'll call those people in and i'll break down their resumes with them um just to let them know like i always ask like have you gotten any traction on this resume are people calling you and they're like no like happy that i gave them a call um, but i let them know why like it's just you know little pieces that are really important so i like being able to be in that position um to be able to teach and to be able to um you know give opportunities and chances um I've got some of the best people come in with no experience at all, um, but really wanting to work, really um, willing to give their all. And that's been great. So I think that's one of my biggest accomplishments, just being in my career and um, being successful in my career. Um, I need to talk to my IT guy <laughs> because apparently uh, my virus protection is not working. Um, don't get any ideas. I got to back up. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Um, what would your perfect Saturday be like? Honestly, because I'm always busy, always doing something. Um, if it's not with the family, if it's not working, um, it's some kind of work or something. Um, so my perfect Saturday would honestly ha be having absolutely nothing to do. Um, and it, it happens so infrequently. I probably wouldn't even know how to act just not having anything to do. Um, but just having no absolutely nothing to do um, to kind of lounge around in the bed for a while, if I like um, to be able to um, just not have to have any plans, not have to have anywhere to be at a specific time. That would be my perfect Saturday to be able to just have absolutely nothing planned <laughs> and to have to do absolutely nothing, but to be open to whatever happens, but not to have to be looking like, OK, it's 10 o'clock. Got to get out of here. I would have a perfect day and not having to do that. Um, let's see. Um, coffee, alcohol, neither. Um, coffee, alcohol, neither. Um, I do like coffee. I actually stopped drinking coffee so much, um, but then I've recently started drinking coffee again. Um, so I do really enjoy going out and having just regular old plain <laughs> coffee. Um, I do like, um, as far as alcohol, um, I do have a shot here and there. I do like alcohol. I don't ha necessarily have a preference. Um, I like tequila. I like a good bourbon. Um, yeah. Let's see. It says, <laughs> since he cooks, um, what's the one dish you're known for or asked to bring to gatherings? So he does cook. Believe that. He does cook, um, but he also bakes. Um, he, he does it all, believe that. Um, but my family, they love my brownies. I do a cookie brownie, which is their absolute favorite. I've got some family members that don't like walnuts. So I'll usually do about a quarter with no walnuts in there. But if we have a family gathering, the family's looking for brownies. Hands down, they're looking for brownies. Um, Christmas, they're looking for ham. <laughs> they like, I know you're making a ham. Um, so ham also make a really good seven layer walking taco dip. Almost all the holidays, they're looking for that dip too. My aunt and I feel bad because I brought her some. I made one just for her, honestly. And then I put it in my car and forgot about it. Um, so then I got home and opened up my trunk and it was there. So I sent her a picture like, hey, I did think about you. I made you some dip. Forgot it in my car. And it was a hot day, so it was a done deal for that dip. Um, but I told her I'd make her some more, and I do plan to make her some uh, next week. She's off all week, too. We're going to be having a good time for family week, um, and I'm going to make her some more dip. Let's see. Last one. Favorite tattoo and why? I don't know that I necessarily have a favorite tattoo. You know how some people get a bunch of tattoos and my arms are done. I've got one across my back, one on my chest, um, my hand. This may be my favorite one. Um, <laughs> I might take it back. And that's not. It's actually probably just the one that I am uh, get the most attitude about. Um, but it's a four-leaf clover. Um, four-leaf clover. And what it stands for is better luck next time. You take from it whatever you want. Um, location, better luck next time. Four leaf clover. Yeah, better luck next time. Um, let's see what else we have here. Congratulations. Um, it's nice to see a male perspective in the budgeting community. What brought you here? 
So um, way back when, and I've already mentioned that, that um, Beautifully Me and You was some of the f uh, one of the first um, budgers that I saw um, before I knew that it was, you know, a female dominated community or any of that stuff. I found her and um, I start watching and figuring it out. Um, I've been budgeting. I've been doing YouTube since um, May, but I started budgeting in 2021, November 21. And that's when I first came across um, Salisa's videos. And that just inspired me to, to try it out. I had me some envelopes and not even no binders or the zipper envelopes, just like regular send a letter envelopes. <laughs> um, I filled those up. I started using those for my budget. And that's where I was. Um, and I've seen it work. I've always been pretty decent with saving, but once I start doing that, once I start pulling that money out of my bank account um, and giving it a job, it definitely started working for me um, because I was quick to swipe. I had the funds available, so it it didn't you know it it didn't hurt to swipe. So I did, but I also wasn't saving. And I heard people say they come back and they end up with um, money in their envelopes. So just making sure we don't have any of that. Um, but yeah, just what got me into the budgeting was just, just trying it, finding that video, testing it out and seeing it work. Once I started seeing how much money I was able to save, um, how I was able to um, prepare for things with my sinking funds and just be ready, it changed my life. And I've been doing it ever since. And then finally just said, hey, let's try a channel. And here I am today. Um, let's see. Are you a veterinarian? I am not a veterinarian. And when I first got that question, I couldn't understand why. <laughs> but Because I'm like, I do work in the pet care industry. How do they know? Um, but I am not a veterinarian. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I am. Um, I manage a dog training facility. Um, let's see. Question that says, check out the, this is so one of my earlier videos. So um, it was just noting to check out some of the scratch and sniffs, scratch and sniffs, some of the scratchers. Um, so I have done scratchers since. Um, Lady Di, uh, she and her family made me some great ones that I'm looking forward to. I said, I'd start after I finish this um, 100 envelope challenge. So excited to do that. Um, but yeah. Questions, questions. I don't see very many in here. A lot of just support and props. Good job. Keep up the good works. Nice to have a black male voice in these budgeting streets. I feel it. Thanks, Erica. Shout outs to Cash Locks and Life for um, saying. My locks look nice. I've been, um, I've had locks for 10 years. I started locking my hair 10 years ago. Um, I've been through ups and downs with them, um, but that's all the journey. So these are empty, done deal. Let's count these up. Um, that'll, that'll probably be enough chatting for me now that I'm, I'm gonna start counting. What am I gonna do with these? I need to, oh, I don't know. I need to go in a box. All right, cheers. Elfrida done with love designs. Look at this. Uh -oh. Cash is here. And if you remember, there are no ones in here. So fives, tens, fifties, or five, tens, twenties, fifties, and hundreds. Let's get it set. And I think it's easiest to just open it up and then situate definitely easier than the cash that was coming out of that jar that was all bent up so that's a plus comment down below numbers are already in but it's not you can give a guess just why not if you're here give a guess to how much you think i was able to save um it won't count towards winning but I'd appreciate <laughs> the comment um if you don't know as far as supporting us YouTubers, um, and I use the term lightly, I'm here and I appreciate it, but since I am doing this, I want to give it my all and get the best results too. Um, but it helps a lot just to like and leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji, um, it helps um, basically the algorithm, algorithm um, to share the videos. So 
if nothing else, when you come across one of our videos, and I do it to all of them, um, if you have a channel and you've seen me in there, I'm going to put a, uh, one of my blue hearts, wave, something, just to let you know I'm here and to support the channel and to boost the algorithm. Yeah, I'm saying it weird. I don't know. It works. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Nice little cash stack. I've seen somebody do cash one time. I don't know if it's uh, black and blue or if it's who is it? The way they count though it's pretty cool. I'm gonna mess this up and not be able to. I feel like it might have been I don't know if it was black and blue or if it was cash locks in life. But say they used to work at a bank, you know who you are. Remind me. But the way they move their money is just like you know what you're doing with your cash. <laughs> Let's see. I'm not gonna be able to talk to y'all while I'm doing this, so I'm not even gonna make tell a story and say I'm gonna speed it up because I just haven't gotten that advance yet. One day I'll get there. But like I said, sit back, chill. It's Saturday. It's Friday for me, Friday night, almost eight o'clock. I'm in chill mode. I don't have any plans for tomorrow, um, but I do. I got some more viewings on um, on Sunday, so going out to check out some more houses. I did talk to my realtor today, and she's got a new list for me to check out. Um, these are, I just haven't found the one that I've just, really fallen for um one big piece that i'm looking for is just a, a decent amount of uh oh that's 20 minutes brb <laughs> and i just haven't found a house yet um one big piece that i'm looking for um which is kind of crazy because i look for this before i even look at the bedrooms or anything but a decent outdoor space just for our family get together it's just for us to have space to get together comfortably and have a good time i don't have a huge family but i've got aunts and uncles and cousins and um, nieces and nephews and now some um little cousins with um kids so they <laughs> grow up so fast um i'm looking for a nice uh, a decent amount of outdoor space um and I've found some, but just not really what I'm looking for. And then still trying to find the balance of what I want for myself too. So not just giving it all to um, outdoor space, but I'm definitely looking for something specific in that way. Yeah, I got quiet for a minute. Just in thought, I'm happy to be here in my life, honestly, like just in this place of, I've always wanted a home of my own, um, rented for a long time, I'm 37, um, but haven't had a home of my own, um, had like family homes, like, you know, that I lived in, but not mine. Um, but since being a young child, like, seven, nine, always just wanting my own home to be able to um, have the family over to just be able to make mine. Um, and I'm happy to be so close to getting there. Honestly, right now is just finding a home. I could easily settle, which I won't do, um, but it's, it's so close right now. And I'm so grateful that the Lord has brought me to this place in my right mind um and just the way that things are coming together like in this time this is the time because if they had happened before i wouldn't have been ready so i'm really grateful um count your blessings and be patient <laughs> just know that god is in control and what's meant to be will always be Any more questions over here? <laughs> Let's see. Curious what your degree is in. I have a bachelor's of science in business development and administration. 
So I guess I went to school to be a business manager and I'm a business manager. Um, a lot of cash. Rebuild. I've got, oh, some exciting stuff coming. Um, I am very close to getting my Etsy shop up and running. I probably did a spoiler in saying so, but it's something else. That's why I haven't really been around this week um, making any videos or anything. I've been really just giving that my attention, um, but I'm really excited about how that's coming along. I'm excited to kind of just see what it turns into. Um, I'll be using some of my new product in the next video to work this cash. It is going to the vision binder. Um, so we'll be breaking pick and pull out for this. And pick and pull has had some upgrades. So definitely come and check out that next video. This little tray is getting full and that doesn't go there. Numbers, have you picked a number? I haven't even, I don't even know how, where to guess, honestly. I would like for it to be, I'd like for it to be about $6,000. And that would be, that would be a whole $950 more than it, than the standard challenge. Not sure if it got up that high, um, but that is the number that I would like it to be. Um, so I'll put that out there. Um, that's half. That's about half. We still got a nice little chunk of cash. If you're sticking around, I appreciate you. Um, drop in the bank. So we ain't just doing money tongues right now. We got a whole bank right here. Um, so drop the bank emoji into there and you don't have to wait. Go ahead and drop it down. Something to do while you're sitting and watching. Also, right. Do you like to, and I, I feel like there's mix, a mix consensus when it comes to like this process of counting money. I see people fast forward and honestly, I don't like it fast forward. I like um, to see it. Sometimes it's funny to kind of hear people's voices kind of in that chipmunk fast forward, but I do like to see the process um, get a little dizzy fast forward. And for me, I just, I haven't really learned how to do it. So I don't. And also this is my first um, count of this, my first time doing this challenge. So I want to do it all. Like I said, if you have to run, you got to fast forward, go ahead. Appreciate a like and leave a comment, anything in there. I do have a question and I probably should have asked it before. What are you, what would you do if you were just finishing this challenge? What would you do with these funds? Would you go out and chop? Would you add them to a sinking fund? Would you fulfill some sinking funds? Pop it all into savings? Take a trip and blow it all? <laughs> what would you do? Um, I mentioned it before, like I just don't spend money the same like I used to. Um, I'm glad that I have the money put up for my um, trip this week because otherwise I just don't. I wouldn't be spending money. It just, it, it don't spend the same no more. It doesn't spend the same anymore. I'd rather save it, put it in a sinking fund, count it, watch it grow. I have gotten better with putting money in the bank into my savings account. Um, but before that, I used to not even do that. I honestly used to just keep my cash and have it ready when I needed it. And honestly, ready for when somebody called. Because I still wasn't really spending money like that, but I've always been the one. Still am the one that something goes down, I get the call. And I, I do my best to be prepared for it. Let's see, all these end up turned around. This is a nice little stack of cash. I need to change earlier, so now I can go on my change envelope and... Give me some change before moving this cash. This weekend I'll be, maybe this weekend. It depends what the weekend looks like. If not this weekend, next week I'll for sure put this money in, distribute it in my own vision binder. I just found it easier to separate this way than going up and down. Next rounds.
Did you put your number in? How much do you think? Standard challenge is $5,050. I didn't do any ones. I did um, special envelope or special um, notes to add more. Um, let's see. I see you're a dog person because of your tie, which I found out later, which is why people were asking about me and being a veterinarian. Um, two moms budget. And I was actually thinking about you earlier. Two moms budget. What was it for? Oh, because I knew I was getting this money in for my budget. And I remember watching one of your videos when I was in, um, I was in Vegas and saying how your wife, when she got her, um, her bonus that y'all like stocked up on the, the cupboards, like stocked up um, on the pantry and stocked up on like hygiene. And I thought about that this morning. Like that's definitely something I'm, I'm going to do the cash that I put out to finish the hundred envelope challenge was just a piece of the budget or piece of the um, bonus. But I'm also going to definitely use some um, to replenish and to just get my stocks up. So, um, but her, question says i see your dog person because of your tie do you have any and no i don't so based like i said earlier i'm actually allergic to dogs um so i would not have a dog in my house um as a kid growing up just never really tripped off <laughs> the itching and the red eyes um knew that when a dog licked me it made me itch um but never really tripped off the allergies until getting older so i would definitely not put myself through that my son is also allergic um did panels on him when he was younger and they um, deduced it basically down to just dander and dander and like regular allergens um, but same deal so definitely wouldn't have a dog in the house They're great I enjoy working with them um, but it ends there um, let's see budget with chuckles completed my 4k watch hours congratulations without knowing filming and budgeting congrats on getting that knocked out um question let me see does your son size oh what does your son slash family say with the change in your lifestyle, starting with budgeting. Um, so, and I, well, I guess I answered the question. Some, most of them, when you asked, I answered. Um, but for this question, um, so I never had any, I've always been the manager of money, like the one that was expected um, to be financially responsible. Um, what The only difference is I was in that, I was also the person that just spent the most money and people just expect always expected me we go out and i'll pay the bill for the whole family um we go out to dinner or movies or whatever and i was always just the one paying the bill the change that they did see i guess is just that i stopped doing that um not even to a huge degree because we went out the other day and i did still cover when we went out for our last family meeting um but just not as frequent and even past that like i just don't waste money as frequently um yeah, so no issues with me really going into this this budgeting system. Um, I did try to talk to him. That was one reason that I actually went to um, YouTube is because I wanted to be able to share the knowledge I've been gaining and just learning. Um, and they haven't really been receptive to it, except my one aunt. And she's actually doing her um, 100 envelope challenge too. She sent me right when i finished the video <laughs> um in that video when the coin the cars dropped i got a message from her um and i just sent her that picture like hey i just finished mine too she's got about two rows left so she's knocking hers out also um but we budget together and we budget like we we talk about each other's budget and are excited to um, be doing it together so yeah no no change from the family um my kid did kind of get into it for a minute he was doing his coins, bottom little coin tracker. Um, he was happy about that, um, but not much past that. We're like at the end. I can probably wrap this up. Let's count and I can bid you all a good night. I'll go find the winner and it'll be another win. Look at that. 
so it's hard to really make a stack look big in my hands, but there it is. That's awesome. I think I had a really, was able to get some decent pictures for that last thumbnail. Look at Lady Die with her little clip. Maybe I need to get me a little clip so I can. I don't think a clip would even fit on this. Let's count. Let's go. I'm excited. <laughs> get your numbers in. Have you gotten your numbers in? Done with love. I'm back. Have you spiked my coffee? I'm just curious. I've gotten some great spikes. I appreciate y'all. I've gotten nothing but love from the community. Got nothing but love from the community. And I thank you all. I'm glad to be a part of it. Let's get it. Y'all been with me this long. This is what you came for. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1,200. 1,200. Watch it go. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, fifty seven, fifty eight, fifty nine, fifty one thousand plus one thousand fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, fifty four, fifty five, fifty six, six hundred plus six hundred. All right, and I've seen this get weird with people, <laughs> um, people's um, counting. Like, I'm going to try to not make it too drawn out or anything. Let's get it. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40, 60, 84. 20, 40, 60, 85. 20, 40, 60, 86. 20, 40, 60, 87. 20, 40, 60, 88. 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1,000. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, plus 300. All right, we have already surpassed our 5,050. We are at $5,100, and we still have tens and fives to count. Are we close to your number? I had some 7,000s, so that would be nice. But I don't know if it's 2,000 over there. I won't count it out. We'll see. I'll, I won't say it won't be. Um, but this is where we are. We're past our 550. So we're $50. I'll put that back. All this is above the regular um, 100 envelope challenge way. So I was able to save all this by doing my tweaks. Um, by adding um, an extra 10 here um, by adding plus five, by adding the pick a number. Um, so it made a huge difference and I'm glad I did it. Let's keep counting. 16, I gotta watch this number again. All right, let's go. 10, 20, let's get it. <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 91. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 92. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 96. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 670. Plus 670. We're at $5,770. That's amazing. And we're not done yet. This ain't over yet. It ain't over till God says it's over. It ain't over. 
Let's go. So yeah, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm glad to be here. Remember this envelope, this little glass piece? That's where we started at, and it hadn't been so. It ain't been that long ago. We were getting our thousand into there. There it is. Let's go. Five seven seventy, and we're still counting. Five ten fifteen twenty twenty five. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, plus 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, plus 100. You remember what I said I needed? I would really hope for this to be 6,000. I honestly didn't think I would even get there. I'd be kind of sad if my counting was off, um, but <laughs> you watching. If I'm on track, look where we are. We getting there. Keep it going. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. And I honestly feel like I count that wrong again. I'm wrapping it up. I'll be done. I promise. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. So it was right the first time. 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, plus 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, and still going plus 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, plus 55 for a total of $6,225. Can you believe it? 100 envelope, 2.0, he budget edition. Hear it, 100 envelope, 2.0, he budget edition for the we budgets fam we today with your support my hard work in these last two months month and a half was able to save six thousand two hundred twenty five dollars and this is going to the house fund that's amazing i'm going in to see who won did you pick the right number? Were you close? I honestly wanted it to be 6,000 and I'm up 225 from what I thought was gonna be like not even reached, but I'm even, I've saved even more than that. This is amazing. I'm glad y'all are here to share it with me. You hear you chilling? You're a real one. Throw the praise hands in there. Cause I praise the Lord for this blessing. Praise you Lord, thank you. I'll be right back. Let me see who won this. All right, we budgets fam, wrapping this up. So I did a recount. I uh, actually, let's see, if you were paying attention and you usually are, you would have saw that when I was counting those 20s, I actually counted 700, 900. So I miscounted on the 20s. So the total at the end, I ended up going into my spreadsheet and just putting the numbers in there. In there. So at the end of the day, I had 12, well, oh, hold on, let's see, open that up, 12 $100 bills, I had 32 50s, 110 20s, 67 $10 bills, 91 fives, and that gave me a total of total of 6,121. So I was $100 off on that initial count. Very satisfied with that number. Um, there was one person who was close. So no one, um, I had some really great numbers. <laughs> some 8,000, 7,000, um, which would have took it way out of the realm of the 100 envelope challenge, but I was definitely open for it. Ecstatic with my number. I'm over a thousand dollars over more than a thousand dollars over so i'm happy with that the winner for um this part of guessing the amount and it's a twenty dollar um, win goes to lanisha shack 
So Lanisha, I messaged you. Messaged you. I'm there, Lanisha. If you message me back, then we go ahead and figure out your winning. So message me back, and then we can exchange emails, or you can email me as well. Um, but I'll be looking for that, and we'll um, confirm it's you, and we can go from there. So that's the end of that. We are at 6100 $25 for this challenge. Awesome numbers. Big win. Can't open it up at all. You see it. Shout outs again. Elfrida Dunn with Love Designs. Interested in the cup? Might be coffee. Spike my coffee. Email me. Send me a message. I can get y'all connected. Appreciate you. That's it. That's a wrap. Big numbers, big bills. On to the next challenge. Keep an eye out for it. Appreciate y'all. Peace.